Hi everybody, it's Angie. I'm back again. I have so much I want to share with you all, but I can't cramp all that I know into one video or in one day, but I am going to try my hardest to give you all that I have and share as soon as possible. So there's one thing I really, really want to talk about and let you guys know now because I feel like this raw food movement, it's, it's such a big thing. People want to under, understand raw food and they think that if it says raw on the package, then it's good for you. And I was at this health food store um, the other day. And I look at their like raw food section and they have this raw prepared raw food in a little package and they're so expensive. And I look at those raw food, the little raw pizza and wraps and all kinds of stuff, dessert, you know, and they're so expensive and none of them I would eat. And I think about the time when I started out. Um, I wanted to be healthy. I heard about raw food. I really want to learn, but there's so much to learn. It's expensive. It's time-consuming. It's almost uh, impossible to do. Um, and you have to buy all these gadgets and, and superfoods and you know expensive coconut oil and now my shoyu and agave and all that stuff. And I tried it and I got more sick. Because it's still, we're still trying to cheat nature. So what I'm trying to say is that don't fall into like, um, you know, raw food movement and buy expensive stuff and think you're eating the superfood, you're going to be healthy. Of course, you're going to feel better if you stop eating junk food or, you know, mainstream American diet and you transition to this more nutrient-dense food but that's not really going to fix you in the long run. Um, let me explain a little bit better. You have to understand the what kind of food that make, make us healthy. We have to know the ideal diet for us as human. Our, our the ideal diet, you have to imagine us in the wild back in a long, long time ago, we would eat fruit from the tree. That would be our main diet. And then some leafy greens, that's like medicine and minerals where we need um, certain like animals like dogs or cats. When they have a little bit of illness, they will go and eat some kind of herbs and, you know, that kind of stuff. So we're so off our natural diet at the moment. So we need a lot of greens to cleanse ourselves and kind of reset our system and heal ourselves and for us to be able to eat clean and natural again and all these different diets there's a place for every diet and I said that before what I mean is that it's like a stepping stone because some people can jump right into the healthy ideal diet and most of that um, those people are the ones who are if they don't do it now they might die because they're so sick you have to have some kind of um, important um, reason for you to push through like that because most of us if we don't have a, a serious health issue why would we stop eating pizza or cake you know it feels good tastes good why would we stop just to look a little bit better no thank you you know so a lot of people are not willing especially meat eaters or somebody who eat really processed food are not willing to quit a lot of the things that they're eating so each diet is like a little transition a stepping stone slowly you can change from this diet to another diet and then you learn a little bit more and then you can do more and you change to another diet and then you keep going until you reach the point and I don't know if there's a point where you can reach there might be like breatharian that I've heard now that you know people are supposed to be not eating they just breathe and you can say I'm crazy and this sound crazy but I've heard that in and read about that before in um, also, um autobiography of a yogi book and some kind of really really um, old 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 uh, from the past you know people from the past yogi and I mean I've heard a lot of things and the supernatural things that people can do so I believe in infinite universe and I believe in infinite possibilities too so I won't say no way um, I'm open to 
you know, new things and new ideas. And from my own experience, I've seen that we have been evolving and, you know, ideas, ideas, um, changes all the time. Like I have ideas about something and then, you know, you learn more and then you're like, oh, maybe that's not it. And so you have to keep an open mind being, uh, you're not like, um, being fooled easily, but you have to have an open mind and, you know, willing to receive new information otherwise we're just close off and we can never grow um, but back to raw food things um, I really don't want you to be fooled and think that you need to buy superfoods dehydrators kale chips that are like seven dollars or back or I don't know all this cacao thing out there because that's like if you can afford it and you want to eat a little bit better like instead of potato chips you buy kale chips and that's fine but know that that's not what's going to heal you what's going to heal you is to eat as close as nature intended as much as possible as much as you can so that means mostly fruit and vegetables some nuts and seeds low fat and like I said before 801010 is a great book to guide you to eat that way and um, you can see from the people who've done it that they look amazing and feel amazing so there's no question about it there's no there's no point to debate some scientific um, stats you know like research about milk and protein anymore that is just old stuff you don't even like it's not a question at all at this point you know it's obvious that we have to eat that way um, so if you really want to do raw food keep it simple please keep it simple just eat more fruit eat more vegetables if you want to cheat and want to get your body going as fast as you can to this clean diet and really want to make the change then try juice fasting because juice green juice will help cleanse you so your body can adjust to this new way of eating fastest because you're resting your body, your body dumping a lot of toxin, and also um, your taste bud is adjusting to more natural food, and you're not going to be addicted to this processed food anymore. So the least amount of processed food possible is going to be good for you. You want to eat as wholesome as possible. Like before, I used to make smoothies with a lot of things nuts even and you know all kinds of stuff but now I actually enjoy fruit by itself like I don't like to mix too many things I actually, I used to hate bananas and now I love to eat bananas I can't believe it and I don't like to mix too much uh, anything else in it even dates I used to um, have to sweeten my smoothies with dates but now I find that I like plain mixing a few fruits together without even dates or anything you know so the more you eat this way the more you will eat less of or want less of the things that are bad for you because your body is going to know what good for you your mind still needs some adjustment because in your head you're we're we're, we're raised to watch tv and see pizza with cheese you know what you call like the cheese is like stretching out and it looks like oh my god that looks so good we've been trained to like certain things so when you're hungry automatically your brain says, oh I need some cheese or something because you're not used to eating apples for, for example so you have to force yourself at the beginning when you're hungry like okay before I grab chocolate let me try eating apple. Your mind will say, that's not what I want. But once you bite into it, your body looks like, oh, that's actually what I want. It actually tastes better than chocolate. So you have to learn to adjust yourself. But if you don't try, you'll never know. Um, I don't get any certification or go to any raw food coaching or having any affiliation with any raw food people. So I have no problem in saying that all the superfood and you know all this stuff is almost like a fancy, um, almost like making you fall off. Like it's almost like it lures you to a wrong direction. Instead of eating clean and plain, like from straight from nature, and it's usually very cheap. If you get apple from the tree, you know it's there's nothing to it. But when you buy packaged raw food, it's it's still bad for you.
it's still not as good as the nature intended. So when I first started raw food many times, I failed. I read all this testimonial from people. They, they have this life turnaround. They have this great energy and they feel so good. And I didn't feel that way. I was more sick and I didn't understand. And I made some mistakes. I've had um, years of experience in trying all kinds of different diets that now I know. And it's so simple once you know. You just have to not... A lot of times we just refuse to believe that you know, plain food is what we need and it has to be more and more complicated, but it's so simple. I don't use dehydrator even though I have it. I don't use it. I don't even soak nuts and seed and sprout anywhere because it wastes waste, wasting my time. It doesn't taste that good. When food is dehydrated and there's no water in it, it's not really living and live like a real fruit. So it's not as good as real wholesome fruit. Even juicing, I don't juice as much anymore. I make smoothies and I eat fruit fresh because it's easy and it's more complete and more whole. Um, I hope this helps. I really don't want you guys who are struggling for money thinking that in order to be healthy, you have to buy dehydrator. You have to soak nuts and seed and buy cookbooks, raw food books and expensive superfoods and things like that you don't need it oh, nature is um, abundance and usually it's not seeking the most rare herbs hard to find most expensive herb that's going to cure you no it's just to be in tune with nature eat natural food that is around you like dandelion is all over the place it's nature trying to tell us that we need dandelion to clean ourselves up you know because once you're in the flow, you'll see that our nature and our life, it's abundance. We have everything we need. Everything we need, we do have. Don't go searching outside. Don't go look for a guru to tell you what to do. You have to be your own expert. You know your body more than anybody. Like, I can't tell you what diet you should be on because I don't know what kind of food you eat, what kind of personality you are, and if you're willing to be able to change, you know, just like that or you need time to change and how your mind works I don't know any of that I can maybe coach one of you in particular and it takes more time because I have to understand you and try to work and help a specific case but I cannot say one way and it works for everybody everybody's different so you have to start put your thinking cap on and notice yourself and see what works for you and just keep trying and just remember that keep it simple if it doesn't exist hundred years ago then you don't need it imagine our lives in nature in our natural habitat how would it work back then you know we don't need this fancy stuff if I have to advise anybody to buy one thing it would be a good blender if you can afford a high-speed blender like a Vitamix then go for it because I use that like 10 times a day and that is my stove. I don't need anything else. Having a blender helps eating um, smoothies and making sauce and things like that. It blends up really well so you don't have to like work so hard making a smoothie or blending up um, dates. You don't have to soak them because the, the machine works so well. It is expensive but it's really worth the money if you want to go fully raw. I really recommend a great blender and that would be the only thing that you need really. I hope this helped. Please make comments and let me know what you think if this is helpful and if you want me to help uh, show you or give you advice on anything I would love to do that because I'm here to share and I want you guys to get there faster than my journey. It took me many years and I'm still on my journey, like I say, I'm not perfect, I'm human. There's weekdays that I might eat something that I don't, that I regret later, but it's a learning experience. Don't beat yourself up. Every time you make a mistake, you grow because you learn that you would not, you don't want to do that again. You know, every experience is a great experience for you. So thank you for watching. I hope to hear from you guys soon. Bye-bye.